Time to play with some clay. Well, I came down last night and I made the first of three horse armatures, and this is the size they're going to be. Um, I'm not showing how I make the armatures uh, because I have that on two videos, uh, one on creating a horse from scratch, which is a two DVD set, one on uh, a deep two DVD set called uh, Making Armatures. And I think there's a th third coming down the ridge line. Or, uh, there's another one. Anyway, there's at least three video uh, uh, sets of instructional videos that I show how to make armatures. I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm going to do right now, I just got a new uh, batch of uh, clay. Uh, monster clay and I'm just going to cut it up to make it more manageable as far as my ability to cut it apart I've let this sit overnight so that it uh, would be easy to cut I'm using a drywall spatula to cut the clay with and I'm going to just cut it into sections now I don't think I'll have enough to sculpt the whole thing I'm going to try to see what I can do maybe I'll order another block if it does work out this is, this is different than the blue uh, monster clay that I got this is uh, more the color of the clay that most of the people that uh, sculpt on YouTube use so I'll try it and see if I like it or not all right I'll be back I'm going to just continue cutting all right I got the three horse armatures made and I've started uh, two of the three figures uh, that'll be riding them and uh, I'll continue making those uh, armatures <sighs> this is really tiresome I mean I, I worked probably two hours last night I've already worked you know, about two hours already just getting this far it's about four hours to get this far on, on both these all three of these uh, horses and the two figures so I'm going to continue uh, making the armatures and come back. I'm doing ex an experiment. I don't know how hard, how hard this clay gets, this monster clay, this uh, particular formula. I'm not uh, sure what it is. It's different color than the uh, gray that I had, or the bluish gray. And I just want to see basically how well this is going to work. I'm going to put two pieces inside here and I'll just see how hard they get after a few minutes all right I got the three figures that will go on the horses and to show you the scale when the figure sits on the horse and I'm adding for backbone that the top of his shoulders should come just about to the top of the head of the horse when he's holding it upright. And that's where they fall. That's how you figure out your uh, proportion for the uh, warrior or the whatever figure you're putting on a horse. So I'll pick this up Monday. Once again, I show all this in a DVD set called... Uh, making armatures for animals and for humans and it's a 2 DVD set 
I also cover horse armatures in uh, more detail in uh, my two DVD set, Creating a Horse from Scratch. Monday, I'll uh, start working on the uh, positioning of the legs and, uh, and how I'm going to have them set up. I've got to make a support in each one of these horses, especially if they're only going to be on one or two legs. But anyway, that's it for today. Pick this up Monday. Well, I may not pick it up Monday. I don't know. Monday's a holiday, isn't it? Aren't artists supposed to have holidays? <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, hey, listen, guys. Have a great Labor Day weekend. Be respectful of each other. Love each other. And enjoy your weekend safely. Till next week. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.